Right. Like he was re-educated, you understand what I'm saying? Right. When that Korean hollered across that water mm -hmm. and told him that, he was determined that no child should ever be left without the knowledge of God himself and you. Or, or, or his parents or where we come from. If, because that knowledge of where we come from was cut off. Right. A lot of us say, well, you know, I'm from North Carolina, I'm from South Carolina, I'm from Georgia, Florida, Alabama, and whatnot. No, we are all Africans in a different part of the world. Right. And, and we need to begin to address that. So a little bit about me. In the Sunday's latter years, I've actually seen this man go out, uh, dig up his uncle, his great uncle's body out of the... Uh, out of the uh, the navy yard and take it back to Africa and change history. We changed history from the door of no return when we were taken out as slaves and returned to or uh, back to Africa with his great great uncle uh, in a ceremony. I remember that to the door and change the door of no return to yes. the door of the return. And there was a prophecy in Ghana, from what I understand, about the Sankofa bird mm -hmm. returning one day. Right. And, and uh, Sonny was symbolic of that Sankofa bird yes. returning back to Africa. And I want to continue that journey with the help of those of us who want to come here at the Committee to Honor Black Heroes. We are located at 1360 Fulton Street here in Restoration Mall which Sonny Carson was one of the people who was, uh, they had to bring on board, in other words, for the Kennedy family to fund the Restoration Corporation to restore this community back to its greatness, because that's what it originally started out, right. and to begin to address the young people. It was not supposed to be an institution where people retired from. Right. You were supposed to come here, get some necessary uh, experience and training and whatnot, and go into a corporate America. Yes. And that never happened, so we got bogged down with family, friends, and and whatever in this corporation and people sitting here so the young people never got a chance to come up in here right. and uh, mature and grow and grow to bigger and better things. Very few of them have come here in this corporation. I think Samuel Jackson was was blessed enough. You had a lot of the artists, you know, like yourself, uh, uh, Timmy Vincent, who was yes, uh, my one hero. of the uh, original Globe Charters, who used to say, "You gotta uh, fake it till you make it." Yes, that's his word. And the no dribble. Yes, yes, and yes. And the no dribble concept. Now he was a Globe, one of the original Globe Charters. Yes. God bless his soul, but he done passed on. So I just want to be, since I was around those icons and those great people and yes, whatnot. Bless I want to not disrespect their name and their yes, work by brother. becoming neglectful and whatnot. I want to continue that type of work and to make a difference and whatnot because we are absolutely fabulous people. Oh yes you we are. We are gorgeous. God's masterpiece. Yes. So that's a little bit about, you know, just, just a little bit about me and some of the things that uh, I want to do because there's so many things that I can say that I've done and been a part of. But in, in my closing, I will say this here. All of you educators, you black educators and you teachers, black teachers, let me just say this here. There was a time that there was a gentleman out from junior high school, 117, who used to write the history books. Mm -hmm. There was a gentleman in there who wrote the history books. Mm -hmm. who was the principal who had locked some children out of the school uh, some years ago and s some of the parents was had complained about it so they came to Sunny we was located our office was located on Clinton Avenue between Green and and um, and Fulton and Sunday sent me around at the school 
to investigate. Whenever it round there to investigate, the general was so arrogant in his mm. behavior uh, that it that it upset me. Mm -hmm. So me being upset, and then a fist fight broke out. Wow! And uh, naturally, at some point in time, I uh, was. Uh, arrested for assaulting the principal and the gym teacher and all mm. this kind of stuff. But I take our children to be our most precious possession. And we got to be very careful who's, uh, uh, whose possession we leave our children in. Because mm. our children being abused and misused in those schools each and every day. Are we they, they are taught something that they that is not a part of them that they don't know nothing about that in actual reality they can't even live it out true so um, it was after that incident that the school was placed guards were placed into the schools and this was at a time when everybody was complaining about the school. there was no budget in the schools and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. but um, it was employment made, you understand what I'm saying, for a lot of people. Right. And a whole agency was born out of that and a lot of people would think that they just came into a job as a security guard in the school because it was provided by the Board of Education, but it's, it, it was provided by the sacrifice mm -hmm. of uh, a few black folks who cared, love and cared for black children. Well, it's true. So that's a little bit about our leaving Mont. Well, what is the... Sorry. But uh, I hope to have a museum established oh, where, that's beautiful. you know, we, we collect a lot of memorabilia down through the years, 40 some years. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, um, I want to establish that museum and to so black folks can see like I saw. All right. Yes. Thank you. Oh, it's an honor. Thank you so much. It's an honor to interview you, Mr. Ali Lamont, and you are one of my favorite heroes. Thank you. Sir. So I, thank, I you. thank you very much for taking this time. Um, I've been in your presence and I see such honorable work that you've done and keeping Sonny alive as well as the whole group alive because there were a group of you, okay, yes. that stood as one and yes. still. Yes. So it's our honor to be in your company. Thank you Likewise. so much. Likewise. All right. Thank you. you have a good day. We okay. will be back for the second segment. Thank you. Very okay, much. so would you like to leave a number for those who are interested or young yes. people for those uh, who are interested want to contact us they can do that at 718-783-1824 once again we are located at 1360 Fulton Street in Restoration Plaza over Applebee's on New York Avenue in Fulton thank you very much yes well, my name is Jacqueline Amos, Lady Blues, Jackie, that's what they call me. And I am in the presence of Mr. Ali Lamont, and it is an honor for him to let me interview him, okay, on this occasion. Thank you again. Thank you.